Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and have seen the vlogs, then you'll know that I've been in LA, which was absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, I couldn't film out there because I had a bit of a situation where I left my whole entire bag full of chargers, my camera and my laptop, batteries and my hard drive on the plane on the way there. So my camera and laptop resources were limited while I was out there. I did manage to buy some more, um, but anyway, it meant that I couldn't film. I really wanted to film this tutorial as soon as I got back. I picked out all my favourite products that I was using every single day in LA and created this makeup tutorial. So I really hope you like it and let's get started. So first up, I'm going to start by priming my face with the very fitting LA Girl Pro Prep. I've only used this primer a couple of times but I really like it. It's got a really nice consistency um, and it's clear. I don't know why but I always sway towards um, primers that are kind of clear and not creamy. This just makes your skin feel so nice and smooth. So because we're doing a fresh face LA look, I'm really not going to put much kind of in the way of foundation. What I am going to use is the CC cream that I used every single day and this is from a brand called Eborian and I think the CC cream has dramatically changed my life. You literally only need a tiny little bit of it. It also has an SPF of 25 in it, which is so good for when you're out in the sun. What I really like about it is that it comes out like this, but when it applies onto the face, it goes kind of skin colored. You immediately notice that putting it over any blemishes or like red spots, they literally like disappear. It's so nice and thin and light. It literally feels like you're not wearing anything. For concealer, I'm going in with my trusty Boing from Benefit. I just absolutely love this concealer. It hides everything that I want to hide. <laughs> brighten up underneath my eyes I'm going to be using the stay don't straight from benefit and this is especially good when you're suffering from jet lag and you want to make yourself appear more awake than you are so I just put it underneath my eyes like this in like a triangle shape and then in the center of my forehead and I bring it down my nose and then onto my cupid's bow. I'm just gonna blend that in with a buffing brush. take the Vichy Derma Blend translucent powder and just kind of go on top of the areas where I've just applied the Stay Don't Stray um, and on my T-zone because I find that gets the oiliest. Especially when it's sunny, I get super, super shiny. Now on to contouring. And I'm using my absolute favorite contouring palette from Sleek. This is the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. This one is in the shade Medium, but they do come in other shades. I've got like literally every single type of these contour palettes. You get a matte bronzer and then a really nice highlighter and blusher. And I'm just gonna start off by using the bronzer. I also love this bronzer for kind of warming up my face. So I'm just gonna apply this firstly to my cheekbones and then to my jawline to give it a little bit more definition and shadow and then finally just to the temple area just anywhere where the sun sort of naturally hits my face. Then I'm just going to take this middle highlighting shade and put it on top of my cheekbones. It's all about looking glowy and fresh in LA. I'm also just applying this down my nose just to bring a little bit of light and then on top of my cupid's bow. Because I'm obsessed with all things highlighter and sleek, I'm going to add some more highlighter in the form of the Bare Kissed Illuminator in the shade Monaco. Sleek have a few of these. I've picked this kind of pearly shade because I find it works better with my skin, um, but there are more kind of peachy or pinky shades. So I'm just going to put the tiniest bit onto my finger and then just apply this on top of where I've just put the powder highlighter. Look at that highlight. <laughs> 
So I'm now going to go in with a sleek blusher. I absolutely love these little blushes. It is a cream to powder blush and this one is in the shade French Rose. You can kind of build it up to the level of blush that you want. I just want a really nice subtle kind of fresh blush look. I'm going to use the sleek eyebrow pencil because I want a really nice natural eyebrow look. I absolutely love this because as well as the eyebrow pencil you get a spoolie on the other end which is really good for combing through your brows and the shape of the pencil is really good. So I'm just going to apply this in really light strokes to my eyebrows. do any more eyes I'm going to prep my lips before putting on lipstick in a minute and I'm just using the original Dr. Paul Paul balm which I have absolutely fallen in love with it's so good for using for so many different things it's gonna soften up my lips and prep them okay so now for the eyes I have a sleek palette which is really good for using day to day I absolutely love the sleek eye divine palettes they're just so pigmented and there's so many of them this one is a new day and it's just a really nice natural nude palette there's a few few metallic shades in there and also matte shades in there so you can mix it up. So I'm going to start by covering my lid with this shade here. It's just a really nice neutral kind of beigey tone. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous kind of mauve shade just in the crease. tiniest bit of this dark brown shade in the kind of outer corner. I always love adding like a light colour to the inner corners of my eyes just to make them kind of look brighter and wider so I'm just going to take this metallic-y shade here. is eyeliner and I'm using an eyeliner which I've become absolutely obsessed with. This eyeliner is just so easy to use and I absolutely love the packaging of this. It's from Kiko's newest limited edition collection which is all kind of rose gold. This is the Out of Bounds eyeliner pen. Because it's like a pen it's super easy to kind of control and use. volume effect mascara from the Kiko limited edition collection the brush is really nice and thick and it just kind of gives your lashes natural volume without being really clumpy using the Sleek Lip VIP Semi Matte Lipstick in the shade Backstage. Because this is really nice and pigmented and I want a really soft look, I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. I want a kind of nice coral flush. look perfect for everyday wear especially if you're going somewhere sunny like LA I absolutely loved it out there and I loved kind of wearing just the really nice natural makeup every day and it not taking me forever to get ready so 
really hope you guys like this video and you like the tutorial. Do let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And again, I really apologise for the lack of uploads. I am getting back into it and I promise you guys we'll have regular uploads and I will keep you updated on my social media. So make sure you follow me at the Maddie Bruce on Twitter and Maddie underscore Bruce on Instagram. You can also check out my LA vlogs on my vlog channel, which is more Maddie. That's enough from me. I'm going to shut up now and I will see you all very soon. Bye!